realized now that I have 12 beehives that I actually need to be on top of things. Today, I'm gonna check on three different hives. The two I'm about to check on right now. For some reason, didn't have a queen, whether she got killed, eaten, lost, squished, I don't know, something happened to her. Uh, so both of them made a, uh, a queen and it should have hatched already. Um, so we're gonna see what it looks like and see if she's came out. These are my really aggressive bees, so they are not gonna be happy to see me. <laughs> so that being said, we should probably zip up. That's better. see that it's a baby praying mantis fun fact I know this is a bee channel but a cool thing about praying mantis is and why or praying mantis pray whatever you know what I'm trying to say a good thing about them is if you ever see one that thing is a serious bad because they had to fight into the death and whatever one survives is the one that survives like there's only one that comes out there's well I, wait there's thousands that come out of every single prey mantis egg and only one actually makes it out because that's the one that kills them all and makes it. Kind of crazy. All right, let's see. Got a lot of action over here. Uh, not very much action right here. This one's been my weak hive. It wasn't supposed to make it through the winter, but it did. So yeah, let's do the weak hive first because they're not gonna be as crazy. Okay, first thing I notice is I see a lot of drones and they're acting weird. Like, they're flying around all weird and they don't look the same. They look odd. I don't know. Let me show you. Just so you know, usually you open your bees and they act a certain way. And they're just acting really weird today, which is not good. I'm kind of nervous. There's the drone. Looks, I've never seen those colors on my drones before. Like it looks really weird, look at it. I don't know. They're not acting normal, they're acting weird. off like they're not even moving around correctly like they just seem i don't know if this makes sense but as a beekeeper they usually act and do a certain thing and act a certain way also i'm not seeing any brood yeah something's not right i don't know look at the way they're acting on this frame Know. to the untrained eye it probably looks normal but any experienced mm. beekeepers out there um yeah this, they they're not acting the same they're acting weird and i think you could probably see this too it's really not that hot out so why are they all sitting here fanning their wings No brood, no eggs, no larva, no queen. This seems to be a trend in my bee yard. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go get some, a couple frames of milk brood and throw it in there and hope that that saves them. But I don't know, this hive, honestly, like it is really not looking good. They're not even putting honey in the bottom box at all. They're only putting it in the, the middle box, which makes no sense either. You would think they would at least start to build up that bottom box, but they're not. They're just leaving it there. So, I don't know. Check on this high real quick before we go grab some milk brood. So I've noticed whatever breed of bee or species of bee these mated with, it makes them very dark looking. This is 
supposed to be my most aggressive hive. Usually it's pretty bad right now, it's not too bad yet. But yeah, see how, how dark they are? They have more black than they do of yellow or orange. Also, it's worth mentioning that these bees are acting a lot more normal. And actually, they're a lot calmer than they normally are, so that is probably a good sign. Oh yeah, baby! Our queen has hatched and has mated. Woo! Thank God. Oh yeah, eggs in all of these cells. Can you see them? Oh yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, I do see something I want to look at though. Um, I'm still gonna look through the rest of the hive. I wanna check to see how much honey they have down here. If I do find the queen, I would like to mark her just so I know how old she is in the future. Interesting. See that down there? The bees are kind of covering it, but um, there's a queen cell down there. And it's fully capped. See? Pretty tiny, but... It's on a corner, which is kind of weird. Usually if it's on a corner, they're trying to swarm, but I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave a bee. This is what I mean. See how this bee is all black? I have a lot of all black bees. They say that all species are supposed to look the same, but... I don't know. Doesn't make sense why I'd look like this. Um, yeah, so really weird. I just found my queen dead at the bottom of the hive. Um, what? So she laid eggs and they killed her. Or something killed her, or somehow she died. Alright, we are out in the other beehive, or bee yard now. Um, since you've spoken with me last, I have put all of them up on these blocks and organized them. We'll make it easier this winter so that the snow doesn't get up to the, the bottom of them. And it's just easier to look at this way. But okay, before I look for some milk brood, there is one hive I need to check on out here. And that is hive number two. This hive um, rejected their queen last time I checked and didn't have any eggs, larva, or brood. So, yeah, I need to see if they ended up making a queen or not. Sure is a cluster in here. They're trying to make that as thick as they possibly can. <laughs> I see where there probably was a queen cell. Ah, sorry, I'm messing up the light for you. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of hard to see, but <laughs> at least I have some good news. Um, well, first, I coated all of these frames in beeswax, yet they're still building it out all wonky. Uh, but there are eggs in here. That means I do have a queen. This is the sucky part about when they build the comb out all funky. Um, see that little gap? Yeah, your queen can hide in there when you're trying to put her in a clip to mark her. All right, let's get some milk brood. Um, so hive number one was absolutely kicking butt last time I checked on it, like two weeks ago. So it should be flourishing now. They only have two frames in there and I am not gonna risk taking them and sacrificing the hive for a week hive, so. Uh, 
let's check a different one. Okay, let's look at hive number four. See if they have anything for me. Also, I'm not just guessing on these. Um, I wrote everything down. I need to actually make a chart that's easier because when I am sticky with honey, I don't like touching my phone, but I do anyways, and then it's coated in honey, so yeah. Um, if you guys would be interested in this checklist too, I will definitely make it um, so you guys can get it for free on my profile, so. They really don't like plastic frames, even when you coat the dang thing in beeswax, like. Yeah, no, great. All right, I found one frame I could spare. The only bad thing about taking milk brood, well, a couple bad things. One, if you have any pests or um, like mites or small hive beetle, um, you really wanna be aware when doing this because if you are putting, if one hive has mites and you're putting it in a weak hive, that will 100% do them over. Um, but also, when you are taking a, a frame from these hives, especially when they're just starting to get going, they need these bees. So you're almost delaying um, them really building up and being strong because you keep taking their their babies away from them, their, their next generation of bees. So just be aware when you're doing this. Um, don't go all crazy with taking milk brood. So um, I will say if this does not work, Honestly, I'm probably just going to shake out that hive and shake it into a different hive and just call it quits. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll find out if it works. All right, let's throw this in there and hope for the best. And that is that. I will check back in a couple days and see if they're making a queen or not. Hope and pray that they are. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. Uh, if you haven't done yet, make sure you join the Discord group. We are having some amazing conversations in there and we're really building a fun community. So don't forget, you have until June 15th and it's coming up really quick. So click on the link in the description. Don't forget.